I'm Fiona Bennett and I'm a makeup artist and I'll be demonstrating how to do a minimalist look on fairer skin. We're going to prep the skin with just a little bit of some spray just to get everything all hydrated. And then we're going to moisturise. So and really massage the moisturiser in. I'm going to go in with a very medium cover foundation and I have only used the foundation to where it's actually needed. She's got really great skin, so we actually don't need to put foundation everywhere, only under the eyes, around the nose, and around the mouth, under eye circles, and also that redness. So, face is on, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer under the eyes. We're just going to just place it a little bit here. And then you can also put a little bit around the nose. It's still looking a little bit pink. And also, I always like to put a little bit of concealer at the ends of the lip in order to move the lips and to have it up to press it all in and just to have that all blended in nicely. Set it all with a light translucent powder. So where you want to put the powder is underneath the eyes where you have a lot of movement. You also want to put it around your smile line and around the T-zone. So this is a very light nude color bronzer and that will just go in and you can use this everywhere. And then with the same color, we're just going to start to sculpt the nose. We're going to start at the tip of the eyebrow and work our way down the nose. Forms the hairline because that's where naturally the sun kisses the skin. Put a little bit just on the cheekbones as well. And that's just gonna add some dimension to the face. I always like to add a little bit around the jawline and that will make the jawline look really sharp and chiseled. We've then used a slightly darker brown. It's a darker bronzer color and we've just lined her eyes. Try and get it as close to the lash line as possible and drag it all the way up. With the brows, we're just filling in any gaps and just making sure that both sides are the same. I have then used a warm nude color to put lipstick on and then it will tie the whole look together. And I call this look a monochrome look. And that is the look, my look today, for a minimalistic look for fairer skin tones. And now we're gonna do a maximalistic look on fairer skin tones. We've just started here and I've just started blending a bright pink transition color where I think a crease would be. And that's what you'd need to do when you have a mono lid. I wanted to create a really crazy out there fashion editorial look. And I've started off with a neon bright pink just all the way up to the brow bone. And then on the lid, I have put in a bright light blue onto the lid. And just to blend it all together, um, just a little bit of orange on the inner corner of the eye. I've then lined the eyes with a liquid liner and just created a bit more of a shadow underneath the eye with a darker eyeshadow. Filled in a little bit more of the brows and then put in a purpley pink, dark pink lipstick and lots of highlighter on the cheeks. And this is my maximalist look for a fair skin tone.